Hello and welcome to my channel. I am the Savvy Gaming here, and today I'll be casting a Age of Empires 2 DE edition 1v1 between the red player clan S L I. Um, I, I really don't know how to pronounce the name, but he's gonna be the red player uh, playing as Malayans. Malayans, and his opponent is up here playing. Um, his name is Ragna, um, playing as the Berbers. Now, they're playing on a map called, um, I think, African Clearings. And apparently, um, it's a nomad, nomad game where you start off with three villagers uh, scattered throughout the map. And what happens is you have to find a particular place to kind of start your your town center. So blue actually found a place up here right next to a bunch of water fishes which is great because they can just harvest these for free and then transport them to the town center. Now, now it looks like red here actually started over here. Um, I think he had like villager here, here, and here. And he built a house there and then somehow he just decided to go here. I think it would have been better if he just stayed on the edge. I think if he had he had a villager here, he could have just you know started a town center here. That way, it's easier to wall off. I would assume. But he picked this area, which is pretty bad because it's like where where are you gonna get the trees? You're gonna have to go down here and kind of have to protect it. I mean, this would have been a good spot to you know, to kind of protect yourself. Um, but it looks like this map is covered, surrounded by trees at the edges, and then there's just small patches of uh, water with uh, food. And by the way, both of these players, um, I don't remember which one's which, uh, with what ratings they had, but one of them had, one of those ratings was like around, the ELO ratings was around 1700. It was like 1702, and the other one was like 16. I don't remember what play. It was like 1640 or something. And, um, oh yeah, I was going to talk about the civilization. So, um, I'm just looking at the civilization. So, I don't know anything about these civilizations. Um, as far as what they do, um, what they specialize in. Because um, they're, they're part of the new, like, they, they weren't the original uh, civilization. So, I'm not too familiar with them. But let me just go over now. I, I remember casting a game where another player was playing this. So yeah, they do get plus one piercing armor, uh, starting from a from pure age per age time. So this this can help out if they're fighting against archers. Um, they're unique units. Um, these unique units, they actually, um, I, if I remember correctly, they they actually are range units, but they're considered infantry. But they actually are ranging. Um, and then the Berbers, I gotta switch over here. Um, the Berbers, they are oh cavalry. So looks like they're cavalry. Yeah, I think they're probably better off doing cavalry because their cavalry units are cheaper as they get to castle and imperial, and they also get uh, camel archers. Now the good thing about now something about camel th those camel archers is that they regenerate health. Now that's great because you know you, you when you when you attack um, when you end up attacking the other player and then you kind of just you know you, you fight you know some units and then you run away and then when you come back your your units are pretty much fully healed and you can just keep doing that. You don't need a monk to heal them. So so that's a uh, fun fact about uh, the Berbers, I remember playing them in the campaign and I, I just these, I just started um, massing them because they were just so good. You know, they were regenerate health and while I'm fighting I'll just move the ones that are damaged or injured to the back and then their fully healed ones would continue fighting. So that's something nice to know. But other than that, I believe they're going to stick with stable units because they're cheaper. There's no sense in uh, doing infantry if stable units are cheaper. Um, I saw that in another game where uh, Goths, there was, another, there was a player, uh, he was playing as Goths, 
and somehow, while playing his goth, he, he built a bunch of knights, which was doing really well uh, in the beginning, but he, all of a sudden, um, his opponent had a bunch of infantry and was, was basically getting killed. Well, he couldn't do much with the, the, the cavalry units, stable units, so he decided to switch over to, to infantry, which was a better decision because Goths are not a cavalry civilization. So with Berbers, I can see that uh, they're gonna stick with uh, stable units. Um, if they if they go to infantry, probably not be a good idea. But I would recommend stable units for them and probably uh, have some cavalry archers behind it to help out. Now, looking at Red, he's kind of spread out pretty well. He's kind of spread out. He has like he has a bunch of wood um, number jacks here, um, just collecting as much food as possible, and nothing, nothing crazy. Um, I think eventually they will find each other somehow. I think he's gonna creep here. He's like, oh, there he is. He's just gonna keep going. He probably wants to explore. I don't, I don't think he cares about this hundred dollar, not hundred, hundred food goat because getting some getting some scouting is really important to see what your opponent's up to. And we well, can hear. Oh, okay. So he already has some scouts. And it looks like he's trying to block it off so he doesn't get hurt. So his uh, workers need it now. Looks like he's he's too distracted here that he forgot about his villagers here that are not actually working, not actually doing anything. He finally gets them to, to do something. Now Blue is kind of confused. He's like, hey, he's so far in in kind of like the middle area. Where is he getting wood? Chances are he has some kind of lumber camp over here, and he forgot to wall this area. So now he's gonna have some villagers die. But I think uh, Blue doesn't want to risk losing one of his uh, scouts. Now Blue's getting his own his own pikemen. And, and Blue's doing the right thing here. He, he's trying to wall off his base. Shut a wall it off while uh, working on getting uh, as much food as possible from the surrounding areas. Uh, whereas uh, Red is not really doing that. I think Red is sticking strictly with um, just. Oh, that's odd. Why did he. He built those. He should not have deleted them because what if they end up coming back? That would be bad. And then they can get sniped. Well, not sniped. They can get injured and it will delay their mining. And so it's not a good sign. No. Oh, he's getting more scouts. Yeah, so see the Fury Age bonus? Oh no, there's not. Sorry. <laughs> I thought there was an age bonus, but it has they have to wait till castle age. But this is some really good harassment here. Trying to get um trying to get him to waste some resources because oh 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 no no this is bad no 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 He's gonna fight those just uh he exchanged Mm, two pikemen for one scout. Uh, I guess that's fine, but could have been a better, um, better engagement. Now what's going on here? It's like um, so he cleared that out. Oh wow, he lost two of those. Scouts is just two pikemen, so he basically lost three scouts to one pikeman. 
So there's one fight coming with us. Pretty bad engagement. Um, so I did have to um, kind of pause or restart my casting because I think my my wife was asking me a question, so I had to like cancel my cast and recast it at a different point in the game. But there wasn't a whole lot of uh, things going on because. When you're playing nomads, you start with just villagers, and you have enough resources to build a town center. And at that point, I needed to answer my wife about something she asked me, so I I ended the cast and I restarted. So it was no big deal because there wasn't a whole lot that was going on anyways. Um, but right now, it looks like oh wow, he has a bunch of villagers here. Maybe he's just getting good wood. He kind of uh, was occupied with these scouts that kept um, they kept mess they kept you know messing around here kept, kept patrolling around here just giving him a tough time. Oh now he has his own scout. Oh, but in the meantime he's trying to wall off his base completely. He's not helping out here. Oh. So he found some goats, he's going to take them back home. Now, I think red is just so spread out that it would cost him a fortune to try to wall his whole entire base. Because his base looks almost like, if you were to wall it, it would be almost four times the size of Blue's base. But for right now, I think he's playing better. Although his, although his, um, his score is lower, but I think he's doing a lot better than um, than what Red is doing. Although Red has a bit of a lead, um, he still is in Castle Age. What is uh? Sorry, I'm not familiar with. Oh, he's already in Castle Age too. Red's also in Castle Age. I'm not too familiar with their buildings, but but yeah, I think they're both um, neck to neck. I mean, don't get me wrong, um, Red is ahead by a little bit because he has an extra town center that's pumping additional villagers. Now the goal is to have as many villagers as you can, although you don't want to have too much because you, you also want enough you know, population to build an army. I think Red, Red actually found a bunch of goats. I think, I think at one point he's going to try and push them back home to kind of, kind of harvest them. He's getting a third town center. That's good. That's good. Getting more town centers so he can pump out more villagers. It looks like Blue. Oh, Blue. I think Blue should probably get additional. Uh, additional villagers help build this town center. The faster you can build it, the better. That way you can actually get more villagers out. I think this is a bad idea to just have one villager do that at the moment. Oh, oh it looks like, uh, looks like Red is putting on a pressure now. And now Blue has a castle. Red, you should probably get out there. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's just three. Three of these. Um, this is... Now what is what is Red gonna do to follow up that on? I don't know if he's gonna do anything on his own. He's just attacking this castle. He's basically doing one damage per hit. Now it's Pikeman versus Pikeman. I think Red has the advantage. He has additional two Pikemans here. Versus three? I think Blue's gonna start pumping out some uh, some camel archers. Okay, Blue understands that he's outmatched and he's running back, hoping that the castle will help fight, and that's a good idea. I think Red forgot about it. See, there are the camel archers, but they don't actually regenerate until he actually gets the the research done. Let's see. Yeah, he's 
seeing a siege workshop and a cat. Oh my gosh, she has castle here. And there's a siege workshop. And you attack the villagers. No, not the castle. Attack the villagers, not the castle. No, no, run back. You gotta run back. Oh, he canceled this siege workshop. I think when he saw the castle, he's like, oh shoot, forget it. He's building another town center. So he has. This is his fourth. And then and it looks like Red is doing things that's a little more promising. He knows to get more town centers. Because with more town centers, you get more villagers. Let's see, there's. It's like. It's already. He already has like 12 more than um, Blue has. Because at first it was like he was already up. Another town center. That's five town centers in there. It looks like. Because I think at first, um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, at first he was our, he was like up by maybe four villagers. Well, at first, I think it was two, and then it went to four, and then now it's like now it's like twelve. And I see that going forward. I think I think that's gonna just keep creeping up. Because I don't see Blue getting more more town centers. I think I mean yes, it's it's good that he, he kinda of walled him in, but he needs more town centers. Oh, this is getting destroyed. He needs like maybe get a town center here and kind of uh, pump out more villagers. But he's not doing that, he's just sticking to two TCs. Getting scorpions. Oh, this is a bad shoot pipe. So. What's going on here? Oh, he, he killed, he killed that. The red keeps on attacking where the castle is. It's not ideal. And red's gonna lose all these. He might, depending on whether they can. Oh no, they're getting too close. He's getting a shot at. Yeah, I got kind of shot at. Okay. But so far, Red's doing fine. He didn't even have to wall in. It's just like, well, if you come in, I'm just going to garrison my units. And that's that. But then Blue here doesn't seem like he wants to expand his economy. I mean, now it's like 15 villager lead. Red has a 15 villager lead. This is not looking too good. I mean, anything can happen. I mean, Blue has the army, but who has the eco? Red has the eco. He's up by 20 villagers. Up by 20 villagers already. Must could be up to 22. Yeah, I don't think Blue gets the memory. He needs to pop out more. I mean, it's already in the like, tw 20 minute mark or something. And now he's thinking about getting another TC. And he already has 5 TCs. He's playing really smart. Every time the unit comes, he's just garrisons. Uh, now he has a scorpion. He's gonna weaken all these. Uh, maybe not a good unit composition. Okay, he has like. Three scorpions and oh wow no blue blue got a fight you're gonna try and get this no there's a scorpion he's dead no oh my god no no don't no, don't no, walk that way no you gotta walk diagonally Oh my god, the monk survived! It's like 12, 12. Okay, so let's see what the villager count is. It's like 30. There's 30 more villagers. What was Blue doing this whole time? Oh wait, what is it? Oh, he's getting an attention. At the 25 minute mark or something. Like oh I got I, I think I better get a new town center. 
Now he's patrolling with these with these with these scorpions? What? Now he's gonna So he has one relic. There's another relic there. There's one there. Does he only have one or maybe two? I don't see. Maybe he has two. Oh wow, nice dodge. Oh man, he got the Imperial Age. Let me check how many, uh, how many does he have. Yeah, he has two. Okay, they're both in Imperial. I think he's just getting regular camels. He's stick oh, this is a good strategy. He's getting a bunch of infantry because they're good against these. See if they have five armor versus ten attacks, so they only do five damage. Ah, but that's still a pretty big deal. Like if if these were Huskars. That'd be a different story. Uh, oh no, he's not upgrading his camel archers. What's, what's gonna happen here? Six versus eleven, so that's that's still five damage. I'm just getting cowboy. Two hand swords. Wow, this is like the greatest. Um, this is like a, this is like imperial. This is like a treaty, imperial treaty. It's like hey, we can't attack each other until we're in pure age, and then, and then once you mass it up, then we can. I think that's 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 the policy. He has 6, 7, 8, 9, 9, 10. He has 10 racks. And it looks like Blue has 4 stables. 1 rack, 4 stables, and 2 castles. He's gonna pop out more camel archers. Looks like he's gonna try and sneak some of these cavalry. Oh, those cavalry don't look so good compared to these swordmen. Two hands on him. Is he gonna get champions? That would be crazy if he got champions. Oh, another rag! Oh my god, he got a castle in there. Oh my gosh. Nice shot to build a wall here, bro. This is too funny. This is like the. They're not allowed to attack each other until like later on. Why does he upgrade his camels? You got champions. You have champions. 8 armor. And that does 11, so it only does 3 damage per hit. Oh no, he just revealed his, his cards. He has a bunch of champions. And he's like, uh oh. Boo's like, uh oh. I'm gonna have to try and uh, hide behind my buildings while I fight. Oh, now he's bringing his champions. There's 13 there. How do we get up there? Oh, finally up there. Wow! These champions. There's like 60 plus champions. I think he's just gonna keep pumping up those. Okay, maybe I was wrong. I was wrong if he was playing better. Little did I know that Red had some things up his sleeves. But wow, looks like Blue caught up. And he didn't really lose a whole lot of camel archers. But he still has like 60 plus two handed sword movements. Or champions, sorry. Oh, he needs to find a way to get these. There's three trebuchets. And all these... 
There's units here. There's the SARS? Those are SARS that are useless. There's camel archers. Oh no, this one's even better. Uh oh wow, this is a really nice trouble. You shouldn't fight there. You need to run back. What is your scorpion doing? Fire! Yes! Oh, and he has the mark hands. You just lost the castle. Oh, what, what, is, what is he trying to do? No? What just happened? Oh, we had that. Okay. And it has four, tr four troubleshooters. Oh, I think this is too many champs. He's gonna try and get this. Did he lose any of these cows? He lost a couple. Too good to do. He has nothing to follow up on. These champs are just destruction. Oh, you finally got the lead ones, which does 12, but there's 8, so that's only 4 damage per hit. Oh, that's a nice, nice way to get into a tree. I don't know if uh, Blue has it in him. He just has Hussars and Camel Archers? I thought he had a... Uh... Oh, he just has Stable Units. So he thinks the Hussars are really, really, really useful. What? Does he need more? He already has like... Is it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, He has like 10, 11, and now he still has a bunch of stable units? Oh, gee whiz. Wait, did he lose one of his trebuchets? I think he did. I think he needs a skirmishers to do with these. The skirmishers would do so much damage. So that's like 27 of them. He has one trebuchet left. Oh no. One more shot. No, I lost it. Oh, we got another trebuchet. I think Blue's fighting a really good. Uh, I think he's fighting better than Red. Red's just throwing his, his army away. But these have so much armor that these are pretty useless. Why did he get so many stables? He's not. Not really anything. Oh no, no, you're following the wrong unit. Oh, he's he's gonna get light cavalry. Forget about this. They're just gonna keep shooting. No, he ran out of stone. Oh, 
I think this is it for Blue He can't. And he has a scout. Somehow the scout got. Oh, because there's an opening here. I think that's it for Blue. He can't really do anything. There's way too many champions. He's like 34. There's like over 60 of them. I, I can I can feel like there's over. It's just. Oh my god, he's just pumping them. Not stop, just pumping them. He's like, oh, I gotta run. What? And he has a, a siege workshop. He's still trying to. He's still trying to make this work. I think this might be it. Jesus Christ. Seriously, he's so trying to defend. He has six people. Six people are just like food. 25. And he also got one relic. Wow, he has two. I don't know why he's still trying. I think at this point, it might be time to just leave. You're just wasting. Yeah, that's right. Like he 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 didn't really have anything to follow up on. He had a bunch of these. It's probably not ideal. Maybe if he he mixes in some knights to fight these uh these champs, it would it would make a difference, but. I mean, what am I saying? It, 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 yeah, it was just kind of tough. Them to fall back on just archers trying to kill these. Like, yeah, they can do 12 damage, but if they have eight armor, you're only doing four damage. So it's gonna take longer for you to kill them. But overall, yeah, this was this was pretty interesting. Um, how. He, you know, the infantry can just overwhelm you. And it looked like, um, let's look at Blue's uh, thing. So, yeah, he, yeah, he had an opportunity to, to go with David. I think he, he stuck too much with, um, he stuck too much with those, uh, the SARS. Or like cavalry that didn't really do much because those those uh, champions were just pretty deadly already. But anyways, uh, yeah, let's look at the stats real quick. Um, yeah, he had he had a pretty good military. Cause he killed more, but but it didn't really matter because he didn't have much of an army later. He collected more wood, but Look at uh, look at the amount of food and, and go like the food was just very different. Um, yeah, and I think the villager count really helped Red a lot because I think he had at one point he had a thirty villager lead. And that really helped out. But anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this game, and uh, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.